Do you have any New Year's resolutions for 2020? Mine is to make more money. The per capita GDP in China will exceed 10,000 US dollars, which means more money for everyone. Because there are more opportunities to make money. Can you smell the money? As people entered 2020 with great expectations, the sudden outbreak of COVID-19 brought the world to a standstill. The global economy is severely impacted, and China is in it too. During Q1 of 2020, China's GDP showed a year-on-year -year fall of about 6.8% and many residents saw their incomes dropping for the first time in years. The Chinese government has, on the one hand, introduced a number of policies that stabilize employment and actively encourage businesses to resume operations, while on the other hand, stepping up its support for businesses, particularly SMEs in taxation, loans and funding. These measures have alleviated the negative impacts on businesses, China's economy and society have, in general, weathered the pandemic, and the next step will be to further intensify reform, expand opening up, and promote high-quality economic development. China's success story really is that it managed, within 40 years, to lift 750 million people out of poverty. That's unprecedented. Now, if you look at, uh, at incomes, Incomes have, have actually increased by, of the bottom 40% of population, by 263%. Chinese people's uh, income has been increased uh, tremendously. Because of the, the gradual uh, economic reform, right now China's economic growth depends on its uh, domestic consumption. You can see uh, people's uh, standard for uh, consuming has changed rapidly. Following the economic reform and opening up, China rose to become the world's leading manufacturer and goods trader, and its rapid and continuous economic growth has greatly improved living standards. Now consumption has replaced investment as the key driver of its economy. In 2019, China's total retail sales of social consumer goods was about 6 trillion US dollars, an 8% nominal growth compared to the year before. Despite the narrowing gap of consumption scale between China and developed countries over the years, the level of consumption per capita remains low. To further give play to consumption's leading role in economic development and industrial upgrade, China needs to boost domestic demand, diversify consumption categories, and create new income growth avenues. I'm in Chongqing, a very popular place. I think maybe I'll find new fresh ways to make money there. Hi! When do you have the most customers? Night is here is very, very yeah. of people. So what is a guy like you uh, doing opening up an ice cream business in Hongyadong? Hongyadong is one of the places I to see here. Hongyadong kind of makes me think of the movie title, Money Never Sleeps. Night is not just a time for enjoyment and relaxation, but also plenty of opportunities for making money. As long as you can always attract a crowd, there will always be business. Hey June, don't be afraid. China has a very diverse economy. China is also a world leader in, in many of the very advanced uh, technologies. But development in the sort of remoter areas, you know, hasn't been able to keep quite up with that pace. Inequalities have been rising. And that's quite normal. You can't pull everybody at the same speed. We observe that the rural people's consumption level lagged behind of the urban people by about 10 years. So they have a great potential. 
Satisfying. What is the magic in this? Wait, that reminds me of something. You know, some say to win a person's heart, you gotta win their stomach first, right? And I think this is the place to learn how. Some of these ingredients I recognize, but like, what, are, what is this? One is shangsa, one is xiangguo, one is called pai tao, xiangbao tao. It's a lot to take in. Now, I, I think I got a basic understanding of the ingredients here for hot pot. What's the next step? And having learned this unique craft, uh, what are your plans for the future? After obtaining the qualification certificate for the seasoning of Chongqing hot pot, Superb learners are recommended to nearby food firms by training institutes. They're paid at least 430 U.S. dollars per month. Qijiang District's measure not only promoted the local hot pot industry, but also helped lift more people out of poverty so they could enjoy a comfortable life. The anti-poverty campaign is a primary task in building an all-round, well-off society. Between 2012 and 2019, 95 million Chinese in rural areas were lifted out of poverty, an annual average of over 13 million people. The poverty rate dropped below 2%, achieving the best result in China's poverty reduction history. The government identified about um, 80 million rural households. Every per household was arranged a, a local leader or civil servants help these uh, per households. By the end of last year, we have about uh, 16 million households in poverty. So by end of this year, there will be no poverty at all. China actually didn't stop there. It's also looking at what we call dynamic poverty. So making sure that basically people don't fall back into poverty and tracking it uh, continuously. The new challenge is generally Poverty eradicated, now we need to look at challenge, uh, at uh, inequality and quality of growth. And I think that is a key challenge for, for all of us. Despite the slowing economic growth, China continues to advance toward building a well-off society in an all-round way. Efforts to alleviate poverty continue with about 19.7 billion U.S. dollars budgeted for Q1 in 2020. To date, over 260,000 poverty alleviation projects in 22 provinces, autonomous regions and municipalities in central and western China have kicked off. China's economy is starting to recover. Discount coupons and shopping vouchers are being distributed, while live streaming by influencers results in the surge of sales. Between March and May, 1.6 billion U.S. dollars worth of shopping vouchers have been handed out in 25 provinces, autonomous regions and municipalities. The May 5 shopping festival in Shanghai saw about 1.4 billion U.S. dollars worth of transactions in 18 hours. The rebooting of China's economy will be yet another major contribution to the world. Once a well-off society is built, China will advance towards higher goals and collaborate with the world to achieve an all-round win and create more opportunities worldwide. At the beginning of the new century, China became the WTO members. So we're generating the uh, trade-oriented uh, boom. Chinese people's income was further increased by uh, globalization. And I think China is becoming a financier of uh, developments uh, in 
in other countries. It's, it has subscribed to the 17 sustainable development goals of eradicating poverty, decreasing inequality. And, but it's also becoming through the Belt and Road Initiative. And that's a trade and people-to-people -people connectivity exchange uh, initiative. Nowadays, China is emerging on the international scene as a big contributor to international development uh, efforts. Oh, live streams are viral on the web right now. Boys and girls gather around. Can you say hot pot? Of course, but have you ever had my hot pot? Homemade, I made it myself. And you know what? I will take the challenge against any other hot pot in all of Chongqing. Now, what are you waiting for? There is so much money to be made right now in China. All you gotta do is open your eyes, look out for the opportunities, and make a choice.